A friend of mine uh, recently told me this story. He was in a shopping mall with his daughter, and he asked her to run over to the Starbucks and get him a cafe americano. She came back with a coffee, and he noticed that she had more change than he was expecting she would have. He asked her about it, and she said, well, I saw the menu, and the cafe americano was $2.50, but then I also noticed a cup of hot water was $0.35, cents, and a shot of espresso was $0.75. Cents. So I bought you a cup of hot water and two shots of espresso, and I made your Americano for you. Now, that's critical thinking, right? <laughs> and whenever I tell this story to K-12 teachers, like, tell me how to get my students to do that. And the truth is that's very, very difficult, right? Uh, engaging cognitively in a situation where most people would not engage cognitively. Why don't we see more of that? If that's critical thinking, that's what we want. Why don't we see more of that? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One is that thinking is hard, right? Thinking is taxing, um, requires attention, requires focus. And in addition, it's not obvious that it's going to pay off, right? You, you try and work the angles of the Starbucks menu. Many times there's not an angle to be worked, and it's not really going to pay off. So most of the time where there's an opportunity to engage cognitively, what we do actually is we first consult memory. We say to ourselves, have I been in a situation like this before? What did I do and how did it work out? And so what we do is we say, okay, I've been in Starbucks before, and as I recall, I gave them money and they gave me coffee, and I was pretty satisfied with that outcome. Right? And so you don't take it any farther than that. So I'm making it sound like memory is really an obstacle. Memory is the villain in critical thinking, because our first resort is to go to memory, and if we don't have to think, we won't. And that's in part true, but I think this argument moves too quickly. Uh, memory can be the villain, but memory can also be a really important ally. The question is whether or not you can actually touch base with, in memory, previous experience, times you have engaged cognitively and it worked out well for you. The answer is frequently you have useful information in memory that would help you in a critical thinking situation, but you don't realize that you have that information in memory. 